Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today I'm going to get you guys up and running with Core Configurator within a Server 2012 R2 Core environment. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, go inside this website, which I'm going to place that link at the bottom of the description, so don't worry about it. We're going to click on Download. And within Download, you can do it two ways. You can either download the zip file or the ISO. So within this video, I'm going to be dealing with the ISO version of this. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm testing everything out within a virtual environment and it makes it extremely easy dealing with an ISO because I can mount it. So let's close this window. And here goes my Windows Server 2012 R2 box. I'm going to right click on my virtual machine and I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go into the C drive and I'm going to mount that ISO. So let's go inside the ISO. Okay. So here it goes core configurator and this is it right here. And we're going to click OK. Awesome. So the next thing that we need to do is figure out where or what drive letter within my core environment is housing our ISO. So I'm going to do a CD, CD backslash, and I'm going to clear this out. And I'm going to do WMIC logical disk get caption, comma, description comma and file system and hit enter so my cd-rom drive is actually the d drive i just wanted to make sure so we are going to do is uh, within my c prompt i'm going to do mk and c i'm going to create a folder because i'm going to move the content within the iso into the c drive to make everything a little easy you don't want to leave the iso or the cd or dvd drive or the flash drive uh, mounted within your hardware, right? So we are going to do is uh, let's call it core config and hit enter. Oh, used it wrong. It's mkdir and core config. There you go. Let's double check. There goes that folder. Awesome. Let's get into it inside D drive. Let's do a dir. These are all the files that we need to move into our a uh, new folder that we created. So we are going to do is a copy and it's going to be a D and I'm going to do a star star and we want to move it into the C drive and it would be core config and let's hit enter. Awesome. So it looks like all 44 files were moved. So let's double check. Let's go inside C drive and let's do CD core uh, config. DIR. So within our folder, within our C drive core config, we're going to do start and I'm going to hit the tab. So you could just start typing start and hit tab and it automatically will, you know, pre-populate it for you and it's hit enter. It's going to start installing all the necessary features that it needs to work properly, just like it did on 2008, which I did for you guys a while back. And once it's completed, there it goes. Now you have a nice, beautiful GUI interface. If you don't want to use sconfig, right? You could use this to get yourself up and running to configure your core, like renaming it, assigning your IP address, your DNS, your gateway, uh, installing features, installing all that stuff you need to do within the core environment, but using a GUI, a nice, friendly GUI. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about it. hitting that like button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.